Today we'll be looking at Marisha Shogi 64, a Japan only game for the N64 released in 1998. It's unique in that it has a built-in modem so you could connect a phone line so you could compete against each other in Japan only. Uh, unfortunately the game didn't sell that well so the servers were soon shut down. This was bought for me recently by a colleague while he was in Japan. It cost him about 900 yen, which is roughly six pounds or eight USD. You can see it still has the packaging that the shop used, uh, like so. But we will do an unboxing now. So, this is always a question how to open it. I'm guessing it's gonna be around here somewhere. Thank you for paying. No, oh, thank you. Uh, I don't think that's going to go too well. Hmm. We may just have to cut it open with some scissors if it comes to it. I did notice there was some cello tape. Sorry, you can't say cello tape. That's a brand. You have to say clear tape. Don't want to get sued. I think I'm not going to have to do this in a nice way. I'm just going to have to... Um, Hopefully you can hear the rattling, I know some people like that. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to open things neatly, but unfortunately that's not going to be the way with this one. I think I should have just went at it with the scissors probably, but oh well. Yeah, there we go. Isn't that satisfying? Okay, this game was made by Sita, Sata, Seta however you want to pronounce it. So there, there's the box, let's open it up. There's a little bit of damage there, this isn't new, it's second hand. So somebody probably used it for like five minutes or something, maybe. Here we go. So you get the cartridge, let's just get that off my finger, yeah. So there is the port, let's just take out the protective um, packaging. Have you ever seen a cartridge like that? So there's actually a little cover where your phone line plugs in there's a little led presumably um, to show phone access and then it just plugs in an n64 as normal a japanese one that is or an american one or uk one with adapter and they even give you a phone line <laughs> that's good and what else do we get in the package we get a manual it seems a bit of cardboard at the back oh, and some other stuff as well so there's the manual. I don't read Japanese, so I'm certainly, going to, I'm certainly going to struggle when I play the game later. If it's even playable, we'll have a look. But um, anyone who can read Japanese, then feel free to translate. Uh, just a little diagram connecting to your phone line. So it's very clever. As far as I know, there wasn't a modem for the N64. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, that was certainly a unique way to get people online. Yeah. The game, I think, is quite complicated. I try to understand uh, how to play, and I was like, okay. And then we just get some other stuff. Uh, what do we have here? Again, I'm not going to know what this is going to say, but... Uh, yes. Yes, okay. And so I think that might be for stamp, possibly? But, yeah, I don't know. And that's a little envelope, isn't that cute? Okay, very nice. And again, probably some warning about... Okay, apparently if you handle the plug wrong or something, that's presumably for the N64, you can get all sweaty and stuff. I don't, I don't know what that means. Hmm. I don't, the plug looks strange to me because in the UK we have free pins because we have earth. And look, a postcard. Oh, that's nice. But that's everything uh, that comes with it. We'll have a look at the game itself and inside the cartridge as well. So in my haste, I forgot one item hiding in the box that you probably saw. It seems to be yet another manual. <laughs> so let's have a look just quickly. So we have presumably Shogi. Uh, so about the uh, memory pack thing controller about the warning about the analog stick not to press it while it's turning on and then we have some game screens which is nice again all of this is in Japanese we have some kind of shogi piece that's now got a face very nice some more screenshots 
probably explaining all the rules and stuff, so doesn't really mean anything to me. Yet another card. Uh, sure, that's important, but don't know what it says. Oh, showing somebody plugging the phone line, and there's that same diagram again. And some guy, maybe a shogi master, perhaps. More screenshots, just see if there's anything else interesting. That's that card we saw, I think. Anything else? More screenshots. That side of the controller. And more shots. Oh, a Q&A. Okay, this is interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, and there you go. Oh, and there's that guy again. I'm sure he's very good at his game. And that looks like golf or something down there. Perhaps from the same company. And there you go. Just thought I'd show you that second manual. Okay, so now we will take the cartridge apart and have a look inside. So it has two of those so-called security screws. I've got the appropriate screwdriver here. Let's have a look inside and see what we will find. I do actually know what's already inside, so save me looking up what the different chips do. And that's the other one. Okay, and then it just comes apart fairly easily, he says. Just needs a little persuasion. There we go. Okay, so it has the uh, metal shielding as to be expected. So there are two more screws here, which are just standard Phillips screws. I forgot about those, so I'll just get a screwdriver. Let's try this one. Now, nope, that one doesn't want to come undone. Uh, let's try a different screwdriver. I've got one of these multi ones, so just see what bits are in there. I should have prepared this a bit better. We will just try this one. And see. Yeah, that's much better. So we'll just take off these two screws. Like so, and then the shielding should just come off. Yep, there we go. So these will contain the usual elements of a N64 cartridge uh, with um, some unique chips. So we have the um, phone line connector there. We have the little LED. This here is a relay, which I'm guessing is to provide isolation between the phone line and the cartridge itself. I couldn't find any information about this chip, which is an ST031, as it's branded with the company name. It must be like some kind of special chip. Uh, this one I couldn't find any information about either. This little chip here is just an op-amp, that's fine. Uh, this here, this should be the uh, BU9850, that's for saving your game progress. This chip here, which is CIC6102, is a security chip. And that is more or less... Oh, there is actually one little chip here. Uh, I'm not sure what that one is either. Um, but I will have more information on my site. If I find out anything else, it will be on there. And then on the back, there is a, another little custom chip here which uh, is an ST034. Again, some custom logic, perhaps. Uh, and then we've just got a few other components. I has got this wire going here. Don't know what's going on there. It seems to be a bit of a bodge. Um, oh yeah, and just to mention, I noticed two test points here. So again, if I find out what they are for, I will put that information on my site.
お願いします先手56歩後手84歩。